Hey, Isha, hopefully this one works. Let's see. Um, so the, fire, the Ferris wheel problem, it says the center of the wheel is at 195. So that's, that's what I have up here on the graph. It says the diameter is 380, and it makes a full rotation every four minutes. So if the diameter of the wheel is 380, the radius uh, 190, that means this thing goes up 190, and it goes down 190 from the center. Um, obviously, this wheel has to be above the ground also when... Um, or else when you rode it, you'd be hitting the ground. So if you go down 190, because it's the radius, you'd be at five, so that's the lowest point, or that's where you get on the Ferris wheel. And if you go up 190, you'd be at 385, and that's the top. So when you were riding around this Ferris wheel, the very top of it, once you get to the top, you'd be 385 feet off the ground. All right, so this is what it looks like. And it said it makes a full rotation every four minutes. Right, so every four minutes, this thing goes through the same pattern. You start off at the bottom. That's where you get on. And as this thing goes up, you're going to go from the top or from the bottom. Then you'd go to the middle. Then you go to the top. You're going to have to hit the middle again, the center, right? And then you're going to end up on the bottom. Right, so you can see this thing kind of makes this graph right here. And it keeps going in this pattern over and over and over again. And just like sine and cosine graphs, they always go in the same pattern. Um, bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom. Or if it's sine, it starts in the middle and it goes to the top, middle, bottom. It's the same pattern over and over and over again. And if you make the scale, these are all going to be equal. So halfway around from the bottom to the top is two minutes. This would be one minute. And then this would be three minutes. All right, so the graph, that's probably the toughest part. Now, when you write these equations, there's always a couple pieces of information that you have to write down from the graph. And sine graphs, they start in the middle. Cosines start at the top or the bottom, depending on if it's positive or negative. But this one starts at the bottom, so it's going to be negative. But it's going to be a cosine. And what you have to do is you have to find these three pieces of information. The first part out front is the amplitude. And that's the distance from the center to the top, which in this case, of course, I don't have a marker that works. The kids used all of them. Ugh. I'm back. That's the distance from the center to the top. This one, no, oh, of course not. Let's just go with the blue one. So from the middle to the top, that's the amplitude, or from the middle to the bottom. And so this would be the radius, so this would be 110. So out front goes 110, this is the amplitude right here. And because this thing starts at the bottom instead of the top, it's going to be negative, so it's negative 110 cosine. The last number is always the middle. And so you can see that the center or the middle of this thing was at 195. And that's the vertical shift. So this is the mid. This is the midline. And then this is the amplitude. All right, now the last piece, this is the B value. And this always comes before the X, or in this case, it's a story problem, so that instead of X, they have it as T at the time. And you have to use the period to find this. So the B value is always 2 pi over the period. And that's how long it takes a graph to go through one cycle. So from bottom to bottom, it takes four minutes. So this thing's gonna be two pi over four or pi over two. And so that's the thing that goes in for B. So this would be pi over two in front of here. All right, so all you need is, what we need to do for this one, we need to graph it. That's probably the toughest part. And then we need to fill in the amplitude, distance from the midline to the top, the midline itself, how far did this thing get shifted up or down? In this case, it went, the center was up 195, and then the B value, 2 pi over the period. So when you write this in, it would be negative 110 cosine pi over 2 T, and then plus 195. And that would be your equation for this one. Okay, hopefully this helps, and if you have any other questions, just send me an email back, and we'll get you through it. All right, Aisha, thanks.